Hey everyone, Ryan from eBike Escape. And JT from eBike Escape. And in this video, we're unboxing the much anticipated electric XP trike. So let's get into it. So we don't normally film unboxing videos, but we're making an exception for the electric XP trike because it has been one of our most popular videos ever. You can check out our full review in the top right-hand corner of your screen if you haven't already, but more than likely you wanna dig deeper. Maybe you're looking at purchasing electric XP trike, and if you do, we would really appreciate it if you use our affiliate link down in the description. It's a free and easy way to help support the channel and makes videos like this one possible. We'll also throw some other resources down in the description, our popular electric bike accessories list, top e-bike brands page, and of course, our electric bike discounts code page, where we track all the deals on the electric bike brands that we follow. With that, this is a large box. It's hard to believe that there is a folded trike in here. But not even just the folded trike, an assembled folded trike, because that's one of Electric's main spiels is that they're the assembly company, not the customer. So this is an assembled trike. It barely fits through a standard door, but it did fit because it is shorter uh, on, Ryan, on uh, Ryan and mine's side over here. So it does fit through. Don't have to worry about that. And we believe the wheelbase is, is good to fit through the door. Obviously the box fit, but we're gonna show you that how close it gets as well once we get it out of the box. So what do you say, Ryan? Do we? Take the lid off and show everybody what it looks like. Let's unbox it. All right. So if you already bought your XP trike and you're waiting to get it, when you get the box, don't just start cutting along the seams. There's actually these really nice clips yep. that come out. They pop out in the center, it pops out, and then you can simply lift it out and it's got a little latch. And there's, uh, what is it? Almost looks like two in the front, one on each side, two in the back, and the whole top will come off. All right, here we go. Our first look at the production model <laughs> XP Trek. This is technically our first unboxing of an XP Trek also. Yep. Oh. All right, there it is. Let's give it a quick walk around just to show you how this thing is packaged. Lots of packaging, some yeah. foam to protect it. This is, yeah, here's your, don't, don't just toss this off the side. This is gonna be your charger in here. And on the top, but yeah, this is uh, this is pretty well. So yeah, right, like I was saying before, this is our first time seeing it folded up like this when we were at Electric's facility. There was that was the pre-production model. Um, they were kind of testing some things out, and so we kind of got a first look at it. So it's pretty cool, and we didn't even get to see that one really folded because they were working on the hinge system. So we're really excited to see what this bike looks like folded and everything like that. All right, first let's maybe talk about the accessories. You want to pop open oh, that yeah. box? So this is the charger. Let's see, it is a SANS charger, pretty standard, and it is a two amp charger as well. And this is looks like it's the same charger that we see um, on a lot of the electric bikes. It's the same charger of the Expedition and the um, Premium, the X Premium. So this is a two amp SANS charger. And by the way, that's a 14 amp hour battery, which we'll show off. So to get it fully charged from completely empty is going to be seven hours. Yeah. All right. And then also included with, I believe, all pre-orders, you get the accessory package. And so what's included in that? You get a front rack, you get a small basket, and then already installed back here, you have the big basket. And I, this big basket can be mounted on the front, but you obviously have all this room back here. So they have it pre-installed for you. So there is a little bit of assembly that you have to do to install the rack, but um, just we're going to test folding it with the racks on. Sometimes there's a little bit of interference issue with those. We got all the packaging off and this is how the bike comes shipped. Yeah, wanted to go ahead. We left it all like pretty much where it was so you guys could see what it needed to, to be rideable per se. And so what we're gonna start with is the handlebars here. It's gonna flip up the front, latch that in place. And there are companies more and more often including these warning tags. This is a stem warning tag. If you're not confident in what you're doing, highly recommend you check these out or Electric's official unboxing video or assembly video of the XB trike. And then when you're putting it in here, you notice you'll have your minimum insertion point. So do not clamp it down here. Make sure you're on one of the numbers. And then one thing to note too about this bike is that it has these really nice uh, like BMX-ish style handlebars. So you can adjust the cockpit back to you Really another thing that they did that just shows you an accessibility that they were thinking about with designing the trike, giving you handlebars to be able to make the cockpit fit you. 
after you get those on, it's pretty much ready to come out of the box. Um, everything else, it's just gonna unfold. I think we should get to one of the first questions. Can one person unfold and oh, fold the XP trike? There you go. Ryan, you wanna take that one on? <laughs> I'll hold the back. No, no, never mind. You said one person. So like Ryan and I were saying too, we had never seen this bike unfold or fold for that matter. So um, so pardon me if this is going to take me a little bit longer, but actually that was not that bad at all. And the box was blocking the way. True. Yeah. And so what I noticed Ryan did there, which is what we kind of thought, when you bring that front wheel around, it tucks between the fender here and the frame. So you do have to kind of angle it out and then kind of swoop it in to get it to fit. And another thing uh, that the trike has as an, a purchasable extra accessory is a, what did you call it? It's a high back seat, basically. Support seat. Support seat. So it's a seat that's a little bit larger, I believe, and has a back on it. So that was something we saw on some other trikes that's really kind of a nice feature. It gives you just, you know, you actually have something to lean back on instead of needing to support yourself up. All right, I'm going to take off the rest of the warning tags. This is the helmet warning tag. Highly recommend wearing a helmet. This is the warning tag, must be 18 years or older to ride this electric trike. JT already mentioned the stem warning tag. We have the seat post warning tag, making sure that is inserted past the or minimum. above the minimum insertion point. Yep, minimum insertion points. Very popular or very important because you can actually, the thin metal will just bend. What do you got back there, Ryan? In the back here, axle warning tag. Keep all hands, feet, and loose string clear of the rear rotor and rear axle. Sounds pretty self-explanatory, but again, these tags are just kind of there in case you're moving the bike, just kind of giving you things of what to look for so you know where to touch and not to touch, per se. All right, right here, we have the frame dropout warning tag. Do not attempt to adjust or loosen the bolts in this area. Okay. Don't touch anything in the rear. <laughs> Noted. All right, and we have a front wheel warning tag. Be sure the front wheel is properly installed before each ride. All right, and coming up here to the cockpit, the screen is nicely wrapped. What do you got there? Attention for end user removal only. Basically, if you're using this electric bike and you remove this tag, you're agreeing to electrics, terms, and conditions. And then the other thing Ryan just took off from up here was the quick start guide. So on this side, it's like a safety checklist, something you can go through every time. And it's on some nice thick paper here and it's Velcroed on so you can kind of go over this every time before you ride. Um, but it's just, you check your seat, handlebars, brakes, battery, tires, chain drivetrain, axle bolts and other fasteners and other meaning helmets, stuff like that. And then on the back side of it, here is where you have the XP trike quick start guide. So it tells you what the buttons do, your pedal assist, where the throttle is. It shows you the um, brakes. Now these are hydraulic disc brakes with a e-brake. Um, or a parking brake rather. So it shows you how to use that. And then it shows you also how to uh, turn on slopes and how to ride. That's kind of, you know, a little nice safety feature there for them to show off. It does, a trike does take a little bit of getting used to with like weight transfer and stuff like that, um, but it is completely accessible. One thing I wanted to call out is as of late, Electric is including their full manuals online only. There's a QR code at the bottom of this. Now, while this is super helpful, I always recommend to new buyers of electric bikes to read the manual and pay special attention to the battery section. So make sure you don't skip out on that, especially if you're new to buying an electric bike. Now that we have all the packaging away and we've had a few attempts at folding this yeah. XP trike, JT's gonna show you yeah. just how easy it is. It's yeah. a testament to how good of a job electric did in designing this electric bike. So there is a clamp on the yep. other side. The similar latch, like we see on a lot of bikes, you have your quick disconnect and then you simply pull it off, comes off the pin. And the only other thing you wanna do, there is no folding pedals on this bike, but you just wanna make sure that this pedal is pointed kind of down and not up here in the middle of the frame area. And then from there, most time we'd recommend maybe folding the handlebars, but we think here's, you actually just use the tire, bend it around. It fits right into the void between the fender here and the frame or the rear tire goes in kind of at a 45 and then you just straighten it out and it tucks itself right in. And then once you have the wheel and everything tucked in, when you go to set it down, you'll notice that Electric has engineered the stand to be as small as possible. And it sits down just on that before it touches anything else. And now you would simply undo the similar latch on the handlebars, pull the handlebars over and there you go. 
We'll put the dimensions of the folded XP trike on the screen now so you can kind of see. I, Ryan, I don't think this is gonna fit in our uh, tote, unfortunately. Um, but another thing Ryan and I actually noticed is that if you have your handlebars up, you actually have some ability to kind of pick it up and kind of roll it around a little bit. So you still have some ability to roll it and move it fairly easy. It's not as cumbersome as you would imagine for um, a three-wheeled folded trike. And when it is folded, just a note, it kind of makes those rear tires come up a little bit. And that's not necessarily something you care about because it's probably back in your vehicle, but it's not gonna rest nicely on all three tires. Yeah, unless you were to put, like it comes shipped in a box, the piece of cardboard and stand they have, it actually just set on this piece of cardboard here um, to kind of keep it up. And you could kind of maybe get a piece of wood or something like that, a stand to get it to sit up like that, if that was something you were worried about. Be a really easy thing to make. All right, we got the front rack and basket all attached. Yeah. And you'll be happy to know that, that it still folds with yep. those accessories attached. Oh, gotta move the pedals out of the way here. There we go. E, there we go. And that is the wheel everything in place and there's yeah plenty of clearance here the headlight doesn't hit on anything no problems it's it does on. stick out a little bit further mm -hmm. from that rear fender than it otherwise would be but even so it's really cool that it actually still folds yeah and man i just I, ryan how many times have we folded this bike now probably four or five we were you know playing around show you know making everything work off camera it's such an easy fold it's easy you just roll it out whip it around and then you just do the latch up and you're good to go. It's just such an easy, it's a good system. You definitely tell Electric thought about it. Um, we were a little hesitant because we didn't get to fold the prototype because they were redoing some stuff. We know, it, we, paying attention to this, we can kind of see they extended the frame, get more clearance, but it folds so beautifully. This is by far the easiest to fold electric bike that we've ever reviewed on the channel. All right, before we get into some of the questions that we wanted to talk about, we wanted to just touch on a few unique things that we think about this electric bike. One are the hydraulic disc brakes with parking brake yeah. front and rear. Yep, so you have this little nub here that you push in with your finger, you depress the lever, push that in and let go, and the pressure of it actually holds that in place, and now it's locked. So, and then to undo it, you simply just depress it a little bit, it's spring-loaded, pops out, and you're free to go again. So, and you again, you can do that on both sides real quick. And now the bike doesn't move very easily. Uh, so. There you go. Before your first ride, you'll want to be sure to attach the cables for that display. They're shipping this disconnected, I'm sure as a safety precaution. Yeah, now we have seen that happen. That is a pretty consistent thing with a lot of electric bikes. They ship these unplugged, you go to turn your bike on for the first time, oh my gosh, it doesn't work. Check the display connector, very, very common. You obviously want to check tire pressures and make sure you go over that checklist that Electric had provided. We showed off the rear differential in our full review, but we also wanted to call out this disc rotor protector that they put on the rear disc brake, just as an additional safety precaution. We did need to adjust these fenders a little bit because they do put some foam in there, so you might need to bend those just slightly to avoid any rubbing. And with that, I think we should get into some of the questions people have been asking about the XP trike. Absolutely. First question, what is the top speed on the XP trike? Well, interestingly, the top speed comes set at 12 miles per hour, but JT is going to show us how to get into the advanced settings. In order to get into the advanced settings, you're gonna push the plus and minus buttons at the same time. You're gonna do this menu where you see the P here, and then to cycle through the various settings, you're going to just push the power button. And the one we're looking for is P22. And what you're gonna do once you get to it is you simply push the up or down. You notice here, you just have all three zeros or two zeros and a one. And so what that references is when you're in the three zeros, you get for pedal assist levels one to two, you get a five mile per hour max. And for pedal assist three to five, you get a 12 mile per hour max. But when you switch it to zero, zero, one, you get that 14 mile per hour max in all pedal assist one to five, but you're still gonna be limited by amperage output of the controller, which is pretty standard across the other electric bikes where you're amperage limited versus speed limited. We went ahead and downloaded the user manual. We'll throw a link down in the description. That's where you're going to want to look if you want to change any advanced settings. Now there are a ton of things in the manual, but we wanted to call out a few that really make this bike a little bit more accessible. And then you can change the settings perhaps as you own the XP trike longer. P11 is pedal assist sensitivity. 
When set to a higher number, it will take more crank rotations for the motor to turn on. So you can imagine something, someone who is perhaps newer to electric bikes might want to set this up higher so the motor doesn't kick on quite as easily. P12 is pedal assist strength. When set to a higher number, the motor will come on stronger. The default is on the low end, so you could go higher. Lower numbers are more gentle. Another setting that we like to see is walk mode toggle. Now on our XP trike, it came disabled, so you might want to enable that to enable walk mode because of course this is a heavy electric trike. Another question we got was, what is the range? Now what's nice is electric, unlike many other electric bike brands, is very open about their range estimates. We'll throw them on the screen here so you can get an idea of what range is gonna be. From my perspective, you're gonna be traveling at low speeds on this electric bike. So the range is likely to be larger than anyone is really going to ride. This is a 14 amp hour battery. And one other thing to note too, is that this battery does go to sleep after about 48 hours. And to wake it up, you simply depress this button until those battery LEDs come on. We found that when you let the bike sit, you'll come out and be like, oh no, bike doesn't work. The battery's just gone to sleep to preserve itself. So just make sure you give that button a push before you ride. Okay, next question. I think we should test to see if the bike fits through an exterior door. Let's go. Woohoo! Woo All right, Ryan, you're gonna you're gonna be brave and just ride it right out. There he goes, right through with no problem. Look at that. And that was the first time he's ever done that, by the way. All right, should I give it a little bit more? Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, here Ryan's gonna try and ride it back through the door now. I turned the pedal assist up higher, and wow. There he goes. And you saw the amount of clearance he had there on the side. There was no problems there. That is awesome. There he goes, rides it right up and around. And one of the other questions that we know we saw was maneuverability. Ryan here is putting on a little demo. This is probably the most fun that we have on the trikes is just seeing how much they can be maneuvered quickly and turned. When you have that wheel in the position it is kind of almost really tucked in there, you really can just provide a little bit of turning radius and it just zips right around. And I will say riding wise, you do need to get a little bit used to but you can see I'm shifting my weight around and I'm very much using the full power and kind of having fun on it. Of course, you're gonna be taking turns at a much slower speed if you're riding this electric bike or using it as a mobility device, which is really what it's intended for. And I also wanted to call out what Ryan did there when he was talking is it, you can literally turn the wheel at 90 and turn right on that inside wheel. So you can, I mean, there you, Ryan is doing circles there without really moving much at all. And that is thanks to the differential in the rear. It's not a solid axle like we've seen in other bikes and the motor is also not in the front. There's a physical different differential there in between the rear wheel. So it allows that inner wheel not to move and the outer wheel still to be putting down the power, just like a car. So we're pretty confident on electric trikes at this point, but we got some willing participants who have never ridden an electric trike before. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the overwhelming conclusion was you have to get used to it. And that's telling. You have to wipe your brain from anything you know about riding anything on two wheels because the steering is different on a trike. Plus being extra mindful of any uneven surfaces due to the two wheels in the rear. My dad even had to get used to not having to put his feet down while stopped. Again, taking it slow is important and in no time you'll gain confidence or at least that was the case for my dad after his 10 minute test ride. One question that we got that I would say I didn't know the answer to six months ago, and that is, are electric trikes popular? In my opinion, I think the XP trike might make this category popular because at $1,500, it is an incredible value, and that makes it accessible to a lot of riders. I think electric really shook up the market when they announced the XP trike. And I already talked about how our review was one of the most popular videos ever on the channel. So if those are any indicators, yes, I do think there is a bright future for electric XP trikes. Mm -hmm. And if you are looking to purchase your own XP trike, be sure to use the links down in the description. It helps us here at eBike Escape. But also when you're purchasing the XP trike, make sure you pay attention to the ship date as ours was purchased to be sent to us from the April, uh, early May shipment. And now they're, I believe they're shipping June, July uh, timeframe. Another accolade to how popular these are, they're on their almost, I think, third shipment at this point or three months out. These things are selling really well for them. All right, with that, thanks for watching this video. We'll try to answer any other additional questions down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. See you we'll guys see in the, the next one. one.